it, Alex. What's going on today? Dude, we got a crazy runner today. Dude, look at this shit. 11 to 25 in one hour. Oh man. So this is actually like a former like pump and dump style stock. You can see that like every time it runs, it kind of pulls back. Every time it runs, it pulls back. Every time it runs, it pulls back. Just last week, it went from 15 to 45 in a day and then down to 20. So is that, today, a, is that a one day? That's one day. Oh. So this, actually, I can actually show you the chart of that day. So this is what it did that day. Around 10 to 46 and then back down. And now today, today they have like some news. So what ends up happening is everyone sees the move from last week and they're like, oh my God, it went from 15 to 46. I got to get in before it goes to 46. And oftentimes it doesn't go back to 46. So what I've noticed about a lot of these stocks, bro, is pre-market, they go crazy. They go crazy, crazy, crazy pre-market, and then right when the market opens, boom, straight down. So what ends up happening is oftentimes, you like nibble in a little bit pre-market, you like take a little bit of a feeler, and then you get destroyed as it goes up. So over the years, bro, I used to get destroyed on those moves. So I'm using all of my willpower to just wait for the market open. And if it looks like it's gonna reverse at the market open, I'm gonna short it. So that's pretty much what we're watching today. And this started yesterday? It started today. This started this an hour ago. Oh, wow. One hour ago. One hour ago, it was $13. One hour later, it's $24. So this might not even be on the watch list then. So this is on the watch list as like, if you are a new trader, you're not allowed to trade this. This is looking weak, dude. So bro, I said literally five seconds ago. It's like, I know, all I know. my willpower not to trade it, dude. All my willpower. <laughs> But this is like, so this is a signal, right? This is a signal. It pushed up, it failed. It tried to push back, it failed. So right. if it breaks this line of 2250, it should go down. Basically broken, right? All right, besides, anything else going on besides this one? Not really, nothing too crazy. Today's a little bit of a slow day. Okay. 2250, let's see. But this, so this is the hardest part about trading. The hardest part about trading is having a plan, sticking to your plan. My plan is telling me do not trade this pre-market because you've died 1,000 times doing that. And now it's looking kind of good pre-market. This is how they trap you. Yeah. They trap you doing this. So the good thing is if it does tank pre-market, it'll be easier to short because then that bounce will fail. If it just keeps going up and up and up and up, people will keep buying it. But if it goes down, there's people that are stuck from a higher position that want to get out on bounces. So this is actually a good thing because it now makes the trade less risky at the open. So would you be looking for like a um, like a bounce up, like a, like a hit up and then go down? I'll look for a fast move up, right. fast move down. Right. And this might be the first, like the first 30 minute trade of the thing, right? This might be a first five minute type of trade. Yeah, yeah. This seems like the stock that the longer you stay in it, the more risky it is. So they're trying to hold this 2250 because whoever's controlling the stock knows that if 2250 breaks, look, they're trying to hold it. Because they know when that breaks, gonna be very weak. But oftentimes they could just break it down and then shoot it right back up. Last time it topped out at 46, now it topped out at 25. For now, right. it could go to 25 and then 30 and then 40. You know, right. you don't know yet. Right. But the weaker it is, the more the balance will fail. So we uh, we did a little live trading last Friday. It's now Thursday and we, were, we have a couple Thursdays planned out. Yeah, we're gonna try to do these weekly videos. So the video that you guys saw before this was last week, and then the video you're gonna see after this is gonna be next week. And let us know what type of content you guys wanna see. Do you guys like this Q&A between me and George? George is actually uh, learning how to day trade. He's watching the Accelerator course now. Yeah, I'm excited, man. Joe Kelly, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> 2250, you see how resilient it is, bro? Cause they know that line is up, okay. Oh, that sign right there? Oh man, I see your urge. Yeah, press that short button. <laughs> Rivian has a partnership with Mercedes right now. So they're going up. Oh, it's, let me see that. Oh, what was that? Mm -hmm. Wow. That just happened now too? That just happened right now. We're being deal with Mercedes. How'd you get that information so quick? Uh, we have news. So we have news in MIC. Okay, so people actually feed it to you? Yeah. Oh, awesome. We work like as a team to get the news. So it looks like someone's selling at 37. Rivian was looking a little bit weak, so I might take a small short there and see if I can get anything. This is, this is your first trade today? Yeah, let me see, I'm also gonna record my screens. So it looks like there's some sellers coming into this Rivian, so I'm just gonna scalp it, like very quick trade if I can get it. So look at this one, George. They brought it down to 2250, and now they're bouncing it. That's that trap that we talked about. Right. 
Playing games, man. I'm yeah, playing games. <laughs> so this Rivian, I'm shorting it, pretty much shorting it on the bounce. It had news with Mercedes, but it looks like the news was exhausted. Like they just sold it off on the news. So because they sold it off on the news, I'm just trying to piggyback what that trend is. So could, could it have just been like fake news or something? or? It might have been, but something like this, when you have something like Mercedes and Rivian, which is like an electric car maker, chances are it's not going to be fake news. But it just seems like the stock is up 11%. So maybe the market doesn't think that that news is worth 11%. Maybe the market thinks it's worth like 4%, 5%. Right. I don't know. All I know is that it rejected. So because it rejected, I'm just trying to follow that. And if it bounces like a little bit too much, then I'll say, you know what? I was wrong and I'll just take a loss. In trading, you can take any trade that you want as long as you have a plan, as long as you stick to your plan. My plan is a small scalp. I think that because I saw the news was rejected, I'll take a small trade. This is a big trap. Dude. That's exactly what we talked about. 2250, sometimes they break it and they shoot it up as a big trap. Yeah, if it's going to bounce on some of these walls a little bit before the market opens. So it's good that I didn't short it because I would have been... Yeah, you don't want to be down pre-market. I want to be down pre-market plus my plan is saying, wait, so I should just listen to my plan. This might even go above 25 now. So I was watching the video last night and um, they were saying, as a new trader you want to um before you before you realize or before you think the top is going to hit you want to get in like a little mo like moments of four so is it depends it depends on the strategy it depends on the setup for us the less riskier is when it already tops out like look at this dude it went right back up to 25. yeah oh my god look at that trap dude. oh my god big trap this means it's gonna go way higher dude this yeah. might even hit 30 look they broke 2250 oh, and they yeah. brought to 26. now it hasn't been this high right so you don't have any other information no. to go by no it's yeah. just going now oh wow now it's just going it's just going <laughs> <laughs> market's definitely a little hotter than uh than last friday yeah this is crazy this rivian we want to go under 3650 come on 3650 break all right so as, as a new trader um, I want to kind of get more involved in like my process, right? So um, for, for the new traders listening, we got we have about 22 minutes to the open. What's what are the things I'm looking for right now? Like pre-market like I, I know, you know, we're talking about the two hot stocks here But let's say I don't want to you know, I don't want to fall for the trends I don't want to go for the hot stock of the day. You know again You said PX PIX Y is kind of you know, you don't want you want new traders trading that what, what do I do right now? All you gotta do is go to the watch list. There's one, two, three, four, five, five other stocks that are not hot. That could be your opportunity to trade. So these are the stocks, QNRX, BIVI, SIDU, BGXX, SHPH. These are the ones to watch if you're a new trader. So I put advanced stocks for advanced traders and beginner stocks for beginner traders. This Rivian is going down. Oh, here we go. So let's try to get out of some of our position. So if I could get a little bit of my position off here i'll explain that trade a little bit more in detail because that's usually not a trade that i take very often so i got some off at 36 38 this rivian is an extremely beaten down stock so if you look at this stock you see that it went from 180 down to 36. so usually what happens when a stock is very beaten down it tends to continue being beaten down now this stock had news with Mercedes, which is usually big news. Whenever a company announces news with a, another big company, it's great news. But when you see a giant red candle like this, and for some reason the news is selling off, then there's two scenarios. One, maybe someone knew the news ahead of time, and they bought it ahead of time and they're selling into the news. Or two, the market doesn't think that the news is worth this jump. So all I did is look at that red candle. I joined the trend of going down and now I'm exiting my position. I think I'm just gonna get out of the rest right here. And as soon as I get out, right here. So that was about a $3,000 trade right here. That was about a $3,000 trade in about eight minutes mm -hmm. on a side stock that I wasn't even really too interested in because it just popped up on my radar. So now. Taking it off my radar and going back to the other stock on the watch list. And now we're back to wait. Now just for um, point of view perspective, how, what was the size on that? That was uh, 7,000 shares maybe. Okay. So maybe about 50 cents a share. 50 cents a share on a stock that moved, you know, a couple bucks, you know? So now I'm having it on another side radar in case it shoots back up at the open, but I might've gotten out a little bit too early, dude, because now it's at 36.17, yeah. and I got at 36.32. So my idea was right, my plan was right, and usually my entries are right, my exits are sometimes dude so now now you're now you're up 3k before the market you're playing with you're almost basically playing with house money and you can enjoy the day a little more i could enjoy the day a little bit more and i could also uh be a little bit riskier on pixie because i could uh get in a little bit larger you know but, and again this ribbon is not something that i normally trade it's when i see that opportunity just get quick 
50 cents, I'll take it. Right. And it's not like I was looking for, it's not like I was shorting it on the way up. I was waiting for it to top out and then shorting it, you know? Right. Yeah, so for the information here, where did you actually hit it? So I'll show you on this chart right here. Okay. This is what it looks like. This red arrow, I was around 37s and I got out low 36s and now it's still going lower. Just like that. Because you would think, bro, Think about the average person. Rivian, an electric car maker, has a deal with Mercedes. You hear that, bro, you're like, I'm gonna buy this It's going to 100, yeah. it's going to 200, but what you have to pay attention to is what the market thinks about it. Just because you think it's gonna go up, doesn't matter, what does the market think? Right. And the market thought that the news shouldn't be up that much. Whereas if it went from, this candle is from 33 to 37. If this candle went from 33 to 35, then it might've kept going up. But because it went up so fast, so quick, the market thought maybe that's not worth what it is. Right. It's funny, man, because to the just the common person, you would think that's that's pretty big news and that's good news, you know. But at the end of the day, they did shoot up, so it is. I mean, for the stock, it, it's it is still up. up. It's, it's still, still up. up. Yeah. Right. But it's not up as before. Now it's down at 36, dude. Right. It's probably gonna hit 35 something, bro. So I screwed up. Right. Mm -hmm. I screwed up. I could have made another three thousand dollars if I held another five minutes. But sometimes where I like to be in and out, you know. But in another, another scenario, you would have lost that three k in those, that extra five if minutes. If I was, yeah, if I was too yeah. patient. Now it's right. lower, thirty five eighty six. Right. So let it do its thing. Let it keep going down. I'm busy on this one. So back to this pixie. Last time we saw it, it was twenty two fifty. It broke and went all the way to twenty seven almost. So it bounced almost five dollars a share. And this Rivian is now <laughs> going down more too, bro. Look at the dude wow. oh my god i'm so stupid bro i'm so stupid oh my god oh. this pixie went up to 27 and if you look a little bit closer you can see 2650 rejection 2650 rejection 2650 rejection okay now at the open we'll look to maybe short some around 2650 right so that's pretty so what we'll look for the best case scenario george the best case scenario is this so 2250 now it's around 22 bucks so if this stock breaks 22 bucks, it should go straight down. So what we wanna see is we wanna see it push up here, and then we wanna see boom, created through 22. So besides, besides for these two, you have SHP. SHP H yeah. over here. Um, what else is going on? Do we have anything Just the other stocks in the watch list. Pretty much just waiting to see what those do. Yeah. You know, I was thinking I pulled this one back up because I thought maybe if it would bounce a little bit higher, I could reshort it. Nah, they just tanked it. Yeah. You know, they gonna give a pop at the uh it might. The so now what I'm thinking about this Rivian is I'm thinking someone knew the news ahead of time and someone's selling it to the news. You mean like someone that uh, works there or like? Could be. Yeah. It could be someone that works there or it could be like a big fund that has a lot of Rivian shares, found the news early, they bought the stock yesterday, a week before, and then when the news comes out, they dump it. These guys are making, bro, these guys are making literally probably hundreds of millions of dollars, bro, hundreds of millions of dollars. And we're over here, bro, trying to make 3K, or ball with our 3K, we gotta go to the club with our Dude, 3K. Dude, it's a hundred of millions in this one candle, it's like, yeah. Isn't it like, I mean, in like within like that couple yeah. minutes, right? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. But this pixie's looking weaker, bro. I'm liking this price action a lot. I'm liking that it tried to push up, it failed, and now let's see. Even if it doesn't fail at 22, I mean, you could still scalp and get, you know, get the pop at 26. Yeah. So I don't know what's gonna happen yet, because at the open, everything's gonna get crazy. It could just tank to 22, bounce to 28. It could pop to 27, tank to 20. I don't know yet, so I have right. to wait. We're a minute and a half till open. Alex has had one trade so far, up a little over 3K. Let's see what happens. Gotta keep drawing my lines. I think that's really important. Keep, it makes, you feel, makes you feel safe. It's everything. Yeah. So you know, you know what's gonna do. It's either gonna go up here, it's gonna either come down here. We don't, like that's it. So what this stock looks like it's gonna do is it looks as if it's gonna tank at the open, rebound, and then depending on how it rebounds, that'll be a trade. The worst thing you could do for a short is hit it when it's going straight down because everyone's doing that. You wanna be able to short a bounce. The bounce will give you the best entry. Right. You can still short it when it's weak, but if you want the best entry, you gotta hit a bounce. So we got 30 seconds until the market opens. I think because realistically, you, like you said, it could tank, but it could also just shoot right up at the Wait, open, right? So I'm gonna slowly, slowly, bro, try to get in if this thing bounces. Right. Slowly. Got 10 seconds. Shooting up a little bit. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Wow, so Pixie had a, a candle going up, and then I mean, this is tricky right here. It, might look, it looks like some pop. What's the thought process here? It's in the middle. It's not what? at top, it's not at the bottom. So yeah, it's, it's playing a lot of games right now, right? Dude. Yeah, we got a position here on Pixie. Looking for that 22 break, right? Mm -hmm. well, right now, uh oh, Jesus. 
Dude, when I see a candle like that, that's gotta be a pumper, right? It could be anything. Yeah, right now. What goes up must come down, brother. Really. Gotta wait. Little bounce on uh, Rivy here. Not enough. I'm gonna let do his thing first. Yeah. That was a late bounce it's up. Late. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't have that much market experience, so I haven't seen it like that. Yeah, it was in the middle of the range, so we're just waiting to see. So when a stock starts out like that after the market opens, what's the. Uh... Now we're gonna see what it does at, uh, after the whole top. Right. I know, Alex, you're short on Pixie. We have a line around that 26, 27, right? Yeah. What's what the... we wanna see is we wanna see it either reject 27 or we wanna see it. Uh keep pushing. So depending on what it does, it could just keep pushing and then pull back or it could just go down. I don't know yet. Well, this Rivian kind of pulled back. So that was a good idea that you had there. You know, I haven't even seen it that much. So when I see it a bunch of times, I feel like you, you kind of just get used to it a little bit. And yeah. I know things happen differently, but I really want to go for like some short scalps, you know, like nothing crazy to start. That's how it is, bro. Like this Rivian trade could have been like a solid, like a dollar or share winner right now. Yeah. But if I made 3k on that, I would walk away yeah. happy, <laughs> happy day. Yeah. So what we really don't want to see is we don't want to see it keep going up. We yeah. want to see some sort of rejection somewhere. Right. That 35 mark on Rivian, that fail mark. Well, it's already down so much that like it doesn't really matter anymore. It already made it's a big move. It's already basically broken. So as you could tell, I mean, just dude, just looking at your screen. I mean, last week when we were recording, all of this was going like crazy. You know, the volume was nuts. This yeah. this volume is way like crazier. Yeah. I mean, so is that saying that that's not really getting tr is this this halt or something? Yeah. Oh, halt him? Yeah. That's why I'm like, yo, what is going on? All right. So now, because of that candle, you can short. Because of that candle, I'm gonna short more. Yep. So now it makes you feel comfortable because it showed its true colors. Like it's show that trade. death candle. Right. So after a halt, isn't it hard to get a short? So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult because look. So let's let's recap what happened. Right. Started shorting some around 24 as like a starter position. Okay. Right. And then. It pushed up and halted up at the resistance at 27. We got a death candle from 27 down to 24. Now, because we have that death candle, I feel comfortable getting very aggressive and adding larger into my position because it looks like the top is in. So even if we were to have a bounce back up, you feel comfortable that it's just gonna come back to reality. Yep. I like Rivian today. This is another pop. Look at that 36 line. Let it keep going, bro. I got my focus on this bitch right here. And this is the beauty about trading, man. I, mean, I could be sitting in another room just focusing on something else. I'm still, you know, still possibly making some money. So I'm gonna try to add as soon as the stock unhalts. Yeah, see, this is a good call saying beginner traders, this would be scary to me, Pixie. It's just moving too fast. But that's that death candle, bro. That's the death candle. Yeah. So because that's the death candle, I'm gonna hit it. And I'm gonna do a prayer too, bro. So the first halt is for how many minutes? They're all five minutes. They're all five minutes, okay. Even if it halts a couple times in a row? Yeah, it's gonna open up in one minute. One minute, I'm gonna add. I paid a load of money in locates today. A load. So this needs to work out. <laughs> you had a 23 average and then you, you I added 23 more? 23 average, I didn't add more yet. Okay. 23, I took a starter. Now when it unhalts, I'm gonna try to add. It looks like it's gonna, it, right now it's at 24.30. It's, like it's, it's indicating though. at 23.50 it's going to open. Right. Where is that indicator? 23.50. Okay, this should open up in 20 seconds. Oh, shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. I'm trying to short more. 21.6. Oh, my God. I couldn't get it. No? I got 500 shares. Oh, my God. Broken halted again. Jesus. Talk to us about that trade, guys. So we saw the death candle, and my plan was to add after the death candle. Before I could even add, it crashed more. So I only got, I was trying to add 4,000 more shares, I only got 500 shares. Now you got something in. Uh, dude, if I got that 4,000 in, that was gonna be an extra 10,000 profit. Yeah. I don't know what the f I'm gonna do, because if it opens really low, like if it opens up around like 20 bucks, then I have to take some of my position off and add it back. This is up. It closed at 21.6. It's indicating that it's gonna open up at 21.1. So I should probably cover a little bit, bro, just to like get some profits off. But dude, I was trying to get that ad, dude. That yeah. ad would have paid me. Yeah. Uh, some more 21. 20 bucks of support. The big's 20, it's done, right? It should be done, yeah. So for the viewers, where's your uh, cap out here? Where's the, you know, where's your sellout to make the money? What are we looking for here? One second. Let's see what the fuck this shit's gonna do. Uh oh. Come on, bro. Come on. I'm adding. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> Got it. Wow. Broken. Come on, bro. Just go down. Go down. You keep running? Come on, bro. It was about to halt down and they saved it. Come on, bro. We want to see it under 20 bucks, George. Because remember, 20 was the line. So it's supported at 20 bucks so far. Yeah, what did it hit? It hit 19. It hit 19.7. Come on, bro. 
Break. It's testing, huh? There really isn't that much volume on it. I don't know how it was halting like crazy. It's very thin. What's the deal with that? Come on, bro. Go the f down, dude. What the f are you doing here? Now that you paid the high borrow fee, you could just keep adding as much as you want, right? Borrow is very expensive today, bro. Very expensive. Cost almost a dollar a share to borrow it. Oh is that an average borrow like five cents? cents? One to five cents. Wow. Oh. And oftentimes when the borrow is really expensive, people don't want to pay it. And when people don't want to pay it, it gives me an opportunity to pay for it and trade it. Right. I've been watching this Rivian, cuz. What were you thinking on that? I took, I paper traded it, took it at 36.2. Okay. I am looking to sell soon and make my 60 cents. I think it's gonna go down though. I think it's gonna, I think I can make a dollar a share on it. No, it's stuck, bro. What's up? Pixie. Yeah, it's kind of figuring out what it's gonna do here. I'm trying to be a little bit patient on it though. Dude, it, I mean, I've noticed like the ticker like moves so much quicker in a lot of uh, scenarios. This is just crazy. Yeah. That it halted and it's just not even. I mean, the, there's no, there's not much volume. That's good because that means that there's not much, much interest in it anymore. Everyone's right. going crazy, crazy, crazy. Now you gotta think, bro. People were buying 25, 26, 27, and now it's at 21. So if it bounces, it should fail because people are stuck from a higher price. Right. But my target is under 20 bucks. I think this could go under 20 bucks, and if it holds under 20, 18 is possible. All right, so we're back. Looks like we're at $20 now. It's testing that 20. So this is gonna be a very, very, very key important test if it breaks down over here. It's getting very, it tried to bounce, bounce failed. So let's see if it's gonna continue to go lower. I think it's gonna, if, it, if it breaks that, it's gonna sh shoot down, no? I hope. Because remember what happened last time. Remember, it broke down here and shot up. Right. So we don't want to see that. We want to see it break down and continue to go down. Come on, bro. Are you going to go f down or what? I saw my Rivian at 35.80. Cover it? You mean the get out of the short? I'm getting out of the yeah, short. Cover. I mean, 40 cents a share okay. on my favorite trade. So we got to start somewhere, cuz. <laughs> but that's a good trade to take because it tanked that you shorted the bounce. The reason why we're trading the 35 and $21 stocks today is because of the runners, right? That's the only ones that have the opportunity today. Right. Obviously, the cheaper the stock is, the better it is for us because, I don't know, it's mostly scams. Mostly scam companies are right. up to that price. But depends on the day. So today it was a lot of these higher price stocks, which are okay. They're just a little bit tougher. Right. As you could see. Yeah. Now I'm making it a hard example for the members to learn from. So explain what that's saying. So you're saying... Uh... So I took a starter position here when it starts to look like it failed with the plan to add after I saw a death candle. I saw a death candle here and then I added a big position here and now I'm slowly to exit my position here. So why didn't you lock in any... Um... I did. I took some off at 19.50. Okay. Not nearly enough. Right, I was looking at that. I could have held and made a dollar a share basically. Yeah. So right now, bro, we're basically on autopilot. We're gonna let this pixie do its thing. If it gets back down to 20 bucks, I'm gonna try to exit some more. And so long as it doesn't go above 23, we should be good on this one. Do you have a hard stop at 23 or do you? I'm gonna pull one. So really right now, you can almost walk away and just put, if it hits 19, you automatically pull out and make your money. If it's 23, you just cut your losses and call yeah. it a day. To be honest, I thought I was gonna get more of my position off. Cause if you see, like I got some of it off here. Yeah. I was trying to get more of it off, but it just bounced on air which happens, so it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, what happened at the end of the day? All right, bro, if you remember, we were waiting for it to go under 20 bucks, and it was just kind of hovering around 20, 20, 20, went to 22, came back down, went to 22, came back down, and then the end of the day, it went from 21 all the way to 33, and just killed wow. everyone. <laughs> Luckily, I got out right before that. I think that day we locked in about $13,322. It was obviously a lot more earlier, but had I not exited, that might have been like a twenty, thirty thousand dollar loss for us. So right. you know, in hindsight, the profit is good. It should have been better, but the stock acted completely irrational and just almost went up fifty percent in thirty minutes. And it happens from time to time. It was the end of the day, man. Yeah, yeah. So it's all good, man. Another day, another dollar, I guess. That's what the love of money does.